Hello all and welcome to episode 7 of 3 Blind Bags. So what is 3 Blind Bags, just in case you are new to it? Well next to me here I have got a box full of multiple individual different types of blind bag products. And then without looking what I'll do is I'll pull one out at a time at random and then give it a little bit of an analysation. See what it's got in the pack, see if it's got anything rare and uncommon to offer. And then after we've done that we'll actually open the pack, see what it does have to offer, have a bit of fun with it and perhaps take the mick. Now as a singular product I obviously cannot pick a favorite from the pack but when I've got all three lined up against the wall of Mega Drive games here I must pick a favorite and then what happens with that favorite is it goes forward to the end of the year to a little special where we have all the favorites from every episode and we basically pick a champion of champions so with that let's have the right hand disappear into the box give it a bit of a shuffle I'm gonna go right down to the bottom and we are going to have Oh, got one the right way round. We have Deadpool, Mystery Pocket Pop Keychain. Oh, bobblehead. I'm not a big fan of the bobbleheads. I do prefer just a vinyl figure in the case of Funko products. So, yes, Marvel's Deadpool. And we've got lots of little Deadpool heads as, as the background there. And, and uh, anything offer? It's rare-wise, anything like that? No, not on the front anyway. Let's have a look. 13 plus. Is that how many get in a pack? That would be nice. Or is that how many there are to get? I don't know. Nope, there's 12. So we have, we got, uh, is that regular Deadpool? Looks like regular Deadpool, I don't know. Something with a pointy hat is that, oh, that's a Samurai Deadpool. And that is Pirate Deadpool. That uh, is Deadpool of a different colour. Um, I can't quite make out what you've got in your hand there, Deadpool. Below you is a Deadpool Chef, though. And, and next to you is another Deadpool that is, looks like it's holding a banana in his left hand. Is that? Not quite sure. There we go. That is definitely Cowboy Deadpool. We've got Clown Deadpool. Cheerleader Deadpool, Deadpool in more different colours, and then another Deadpool with something in his hand, which I can't quite make out again. Do like Deadpool, did enjoy the Deadpool films, got to be honest with you. So, yeah, this one does have quite a large interest to me. So with that, yeah, let's open the pack. Let's open the pack, see what it, see which Deadpool I do get. How easy are you going to be to open? There you go, 9 out of 10 for easy opening, well done. And we have, we have Pirate Deadpool. Do you know what, I forgot to say which one I would would have liked before I actually opened it. And the funny thing about it is, I would have chose probably Pirate Deadpool because I like pirates, I think they are cool. I'm a big fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean film. That's actually really cool, actually. It's really well made, looks very looks very good as well. Not a lot I can take the mick out of here, to be honest with you. Uh, it's a bit random that they felt the need to just sort of uh, put the top of the keychain hoop in, in a packet. Don't know what that is for. Wow, that is on there tight as well. What, why Why even bother doing that? Oh, stuck some, stuck some in my hand there. So there we go. Got Deadpool Pirate key ring. I, I really like that. And uh, Bobblehead, apparently. Feels more like an articulate figure than the Bobblehead, actually. Oh, there we go. There you go, bobbling away. Yeah, I like that. I do like that a lot. The skull and crossbones need to be a little bit off. A little bit on the piss there. Not quite in the centre of the hat. But uh, we're just finding things to pick out. What has he got in your hands? Don't know. They, they they don't. They look like pallet knives more than actual knives. What's that all about? There's no point on that. It's hardly threatening. But there we go. You can't die. Deadpool can't die, so he doesn't really need to worry about that sort of shit. So there we go. We'll put you against the wall of Mega Drive games if I can get you to stand up. But then again, you you don't need to stand up because you're a keychain. You need to dangle. Now there we go. Now we're onto something. We're onto something. We'll just poke you in the wall there. There we go. Just hang like that, Mr. Deadpool. You've got a good chance of winning. I've got to be honest with you. Really like that figure. Okay, let's go for another shuffle. Go for another shuffle and see what we get. We'll go for a packet rather than a box. That thing I can kind of sort of differentiate between quite easily. And we've got I Love Sloths. Cute figures. Yes, they are. Look at them. That one's winking at me for some reason. That one's blue with a heart on its chest. And that one is inappropriately touching the back of the blue one's neck by the looks of it. And what else have we got? Well, it's one pack and made by the good people of Tops. Is What is that? Um, okay, that's an inappropriate place to put some sort of background. It looks like something is coming out of him. We have got um, lots of little bits of fruit that are smelling around him. That looks like an orange. We've got a lemon, a blueberry. We'll just say that because it's blue. Probably is strawberry and maybe is that a mint leaf? I don't know. Do these? Oh, are these, do these have a smell to them? Oh, look at that. He's even telling me I'm so fuzzy and smell so sweet. Hmm, inappropriate. Limited edition, edition sloths, 1 in 12. Includes Inhalt. Is that a guarantee on getting that figure in this pack? Well, that's not bloody surprising, is it? 14 to collect, and then in multiple languages. 
yeah, I'm fuzzy, I'm fuzzy and smell so sweet. So yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll we'll see what that is like once I open it. Yeah, very intrigued. Very intrigued. They're very strange. I remember just walking into one of my local news agents and seeing this on the shelf uh, by the counter and thinking, yeah, okay, that's random. That'll definitely work. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what smelly animal we've got in here then. Um, oh, we've got a bit of paper. Uh, let's have a look at the paper first because that might tell us something. Oh, there we go. Minty and Frosty are the limited edition ones there at the bottom. And we've got Zing, Snoozer and Sunny. We have Candy, Blush and Pip. Zane, Rose and Chansey. Muffin, Bluey and Violetta. Now, which Rose sounds like a boy band more? Uh, I'm going to go with Zane, oh no, Rose. Not really a boy's name, is it? Zing, Snoozer and Sunny. But there we go. That's what they will smell like next to it as well. So we'll, we'll keep this here just for reference very shortly. And we shall see which sloth we get. Because I will need to uh, use that to... Uh, I'm not going to remember the name. Uh, this one's lying down. There you go. Lying down on the job. I'm giving you a wink. That is a slutty pose. There we go. Um, you are, I would say, oh, you're Zane, you're Zane, and you smell of oranges, and you are orange. You are orange, which would have been uh, quite easy to work out, I would imagine, of all of these. I mean, uh, what, what would you think the green one smells like lemon? Who knows? Uh, excuse me while I, I oh, here's, a, here's a line in life I never thought I'd say. Excuse me while I sniff this sloth. Oh, blimey, yeah. Yep, that is a strong, zesty smell. And because I know it's orange, it's uh, yeah, definitely winning as smelling of orange. But uh, I suppose that achieves what it says on, on, on the pack. It is a cute figure of a sloth. And there's one in the pack. So yeah, the pack is pretty much advertising what it says. It is That pose is a little bit disturbing, I will be honest with you. It does look like he's doing an adult photo shoot. Can't really, can't really help but unsee that now. So let's pop you down here on the wall of Mega Drive games. You're not a bad figure, but you're up against a Deadpool pirate, you know. You've got your work cut out there. Okay, so let's have one more shuffle. Pull something else out. And uh, we'll go for a box. I'll, I'll feel, I can feel about th three or four in boxes. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. There's a smaller one. Uh, okay, we'll uh, we'll have this box. This box here. And we have... We have Upside Down. We have Aliens. The Game Over Collection. Titans Vinyl Figures. Oh, not Funko for a change. So there we go. There's a, there's the one we want straight away. Alien Queen. Uh, a mystery bishop, uh, and I don't mean someone of the church. Uh, armored personal carrier, a hatching xenomorph, a xenomorph warrior. Let's be honest, we we want a xenomorph. The alien queen will do, but we want a xenomorph. We don't want we don't want Ripley. Sorry, Ripley. We don't want Hicks. We don't want Bishop, the one that we can actually see. We certainly don't want a pissing egg. I'm sorry, uh, xenomorph warrior. The, the the same as that one over there. Oh, am I seeing things twice? I've already said that once. Well, was there a Xenomorph Warrior? Oh, yeah, there's a Xenomorph Warrior there, which is just a different colour to that Xenomorph. Well, that's a bit. And then we've got uh, three blue ones with question marks on their side. Uh, no, we've got three Xenomorphs there, there and uh, they are mystery ones, and they're all 1 in 36 chances. The egg is 2 in 18. I don't want the bloody egg. Do not give me the bloody egg. Have I talked the egg in? Uh, right, uh, Ripley. Uh, yeah, just I don't want the characters. If I'm buying aliens, I want an alien. I want an alien. Although this was kindly gifted to me, this one. So I didn't actually buy this one. So thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, let's see who we get. Let's see who we get. Uh, okay, it's in... Oh, I like that. A little bit of theming there. A little bit of theming there. Just not in... Not just in a black bag insinuating that it's rubbish because the black bag basically looks like a bin bag. It's, uh, yeah, they've kind of themed it a little bit. And do you know what? I'm feeling as in a xenomorph. I am feeling a xenomorph. Right, scissors are on standby for this sort of reason. That feels like a tough pack to open. I can't get over that. It's like the, the hazard pack there. I do like that packaging. Right, uh, I said it feels like a xenomorph. It bloody isn't. <laughs> oh, well, I'm good, aren't I? I got the bloody car. I got the... Uh, do you know what? I, 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 one thing, I would have preferred uh, Ripley over. Uh, definitely better than the piss and egg, though. Uh, armoured personal carrier to... In 18, so one in nine, you know what I mean. Come on, people, do your maths, don't be so lazy. Uh, do the wheels go round? No, nope, the wheels on the armoured vehicle do not go round and round like they do on the bus. Oh, that's articulate, though. It's a, it's a, it's an odd colour, I'll give you that. It, it looks like a, it's the colour of a sweet your granddad would give you. That is that articulated? No. That is. That's uh, that's strange. I mean, it's a good representation, I suppose, of the armoured vehicle from, from the series, but... Um, yeah, it's you know, I can't be I can't be helped but be a little bit underwhelmed by this. I'm really sorry, but uh, yeah, Xenomorph would have been so much better, or any character, 
Just uh, at least we didn't get the egg. We didn't get the egg. So, I mean, this had potential to be the winner of the three favourites if it was a Xenomorph. And uh, to come up against a, a, a Pyro Deadpool, that would have made my choice really hard. But there we go. So we'll pop that down there. And now we've got to pick a favourite from the three. And, ooh, do you know what? I was going to just fly in and say it is Deadpool. It's going to be Deadpool. But... I did, I'm did. i having a little bit of hesitation because <laughs> it is quite cool and it's nice that it has that uh, sort of a smell touch about it. And uh, no, I am going to give it to the Deadpool Pirate. I have to be honest with you. Come down, come down, there we go. I'm going to give it to the Deadpool Pirate keychain. I really like that. I must admit, I didn't say what I wanted before I uh, opened the pack. But yeah, I would have totally picked the bobblehead. That isn't really a bobblehead. It's more of an articulated thing. I would have picked this to to get from the pack if I could possibly pick without knowing, or pick with knowing even, without knowing is what, what blind bags are all about. So yes, your winner of this episode, episode 7 of 3 Blind Bags, is this Deadpool keychain here, which now I'm going to try and stand up again and he'll probably fall over. Ta-da! No, we didn't. So, that is episode 7 of 3 Blind Bags. Now, this normally runs sort of once a month or fortnightly rotating with five random packs, but as we're in lockdown and I have loads in the bag, or loads in the box even, I'm going to do a bonus episode this time next week on a Thursday as a, yeah, as a little bit of bonus. Exactly that. So, if you do like Blind Bags opening, please subscribe because I do do multiple packs of Blind Bag openings as well, and I've got two of those lined up as well. I had another delivery with one already waiting, so they'll be coming in the future as well. So, yes, if you like Blind Bags openings, please stay tuned for more. And with that, I do think it's finally time for me to say goodbye. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, please do take care.